Hey, welcome in amazing Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. I love you, love you, love you. I'm going to be doing your reading for June right now. Thank you for coming back and being here with me, my darlings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you for your support and your kindness to me. I would like to encourage you to join me on Patreon if you have not. Um, as soon as I'm done with your reading and Cancer's reading, I'm going to be doing a reading for my Patreon members. It's going to be an Archangel and an Angel reading to encourage each and every sign. So whoever that's for, it will go, you'll get it. You can decide whether to open that or not. You will be, um, on June 7th, um, you'll be getting, I'll be giving away a Selenite Tower um, for healing, for cleansing your space. I have mine right here. Selenite towers are really, I use them in my Reiki practice a lot. Very, very good to have. Let me sanctify my space as I always do. Sacred anointing oil. Yes. And myself and my hands. This is so that the sacred oils come in and they prevent any negative energy from influencing your reading, Pisces. So let me get started by doing a little sound hit for you. Pisces, someone rising in Venus, I'm going to be calling in the energies to read for them. So Holy Spirit, tell me to read for my Pisces. Calling in the highest form of energy and light that can possibly come through this reading for my Pisces. I need to know what's going on, how I can help them bring forth the most positive messages available to them. This is very good for me because um, Pisces, some of us deal with post-traumatic stress disorder in one way or another. And can you blame us? I mean, the whole world has been put in lockdown, changed, everything's changed. You know, so amazingly, we have our friggin' sanity through all this crazy stuff. Right now, babes, right now, this minute, we're going to read about love and energies, what you may be dealing with in the month of June. If you're coming in for the first time, welcome in. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you jive with my reading and style, please tell me you support me by hitting the like button. Thank you so much. And also, if you'd like to donate to the channel any way, shape, or form, um, you can contact me at robinsrealmreadings at gmail or robinsrealmreadings.net. Okay? So let's get started. Pisces, this is going to be your energy when I read. And your significant other person. Your person, okay? Then I have some beautiful guidance for you. So, Holy Spirit, I need to know what shows up in the love life of Pisces for the month of June. What's showing up for Pisces in the month of June? That was quick. Usually isn't quite that quick. All right, my beautifuls. And, you know, I have a Pisces moon, darling. So, <clears throat> those of you who don't know that, I feel what you feel. You have a magical orb, or about you. You're dealing with passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it, luscious Pisces. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Wow. <laughs> I like that reading, don't you? I like that. Tapping into the background of Pisces. What is Pisces experiencing in the month of June? The powerful energies that they may be dealing with. Forces, energies, shifts, people. What is it, Holy Spirit? What do you want me to bring forward? Fairies, tell me. Pisces background. What's going on in Pisces world in March? I mean June 2021. Ooh. Oh, Pisces, you may be moving. You may be moving. This is a brand new start. This is power, powering through something, making a brand, going towards wish fulfillment, a brand new start. And this is for, this is about a relationship, grounding, marriage, celebration, or moving a home. Manifesting miracles. You are definitely manifesting miracles. 
Holy mackerel, that's nice. Tell me more about what Pisces is dealing with in June. The collective of Pisces, someone rising Venus. What are they dealing with in June, please, Holy Spirit? The collective of Pisces, someone rising in Venus. Changing things, going in a new direction, ending something and starting something new. More for Pisces, please, in the month. Oh, here you are. Abundance. Incredible abundance coming your way. Oh, however, I need you to know something else. <clears throat> Since you have this abundance coming, okay, watch out. Watch out. Whatever this abundance is, in love, relationships, money, something grounded and serious, um, this is really important for you. You're doing divination work. You're doing spiritual work to bring forth a new beginning for yourself. And you're tapping in. Whatever it is you do for a living, you're becoming abundant. And you're moving forward into something abundant. But not without the difficulties of someone blocking you or not hearing you or not working with you, not supporting your path and not communicating. So at this point, I'm taking that. That's your background. This is going to get drawn up. I want to know who the hell this is in your space. Tell me who this is, please, in, in reference to Pisces. Usually this is like a soulmate, a twin flame, or somebody you have a contract with, and they're not doing their part. They're not communicating, or they're just closing their ears to you and don't want to hear what you have to say or about a relationship or what needs to be done to save and restore this relationship. And they're bullheaded, and they're full of shit, and I'm pissed about it. And I'm sorry that you're going through it. And that I swear. <laughs> I'm just real. Okay. Here we go. Who the hell is this soulmate twin flame that's giving you bullshit? I'm going to have to snap them right upside their head. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm just playing. This person causing difficulties for my Pisces. There's a baby mama in the scene. There's ten of cups in reverse. There's Aquarius. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aquarius, upright. So what we have here is, is a, a, an influence of a baby mama, King of Wands. As far as this goes, let me tell you who you might be dealing with. Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a king of wands. This masculine is powerful, passionate. Uh, I see Leo. Knight of wands, Sagittarius, Leo. Maybe this king is a, is turned into a, excuse the word, fuckboy. Knight of wands, not making commitments, not keeping them moving about in and out. This is someone that's causing you a great distress that you feel like you have to heal from. You're begging for help with this relationship. You've been asking the stars for help. You need healing from this. They're making your life difficult. This is an empress or in reverse. This is someone who is, could be a baby mama, a feminine in your life, who's taking over. And she's um, causing this king of wands to be non-committal to you. Here you are. Ten of Cups. You're the wish fulfillment. You're everything. You're every fucking thing to this person. And what do they do? They put you in third party energy. They put you in an I'm not committed energy. I don't know how to break away this commitment. And you're constantly in the healing stage with this person. If you need a reading, please contact me because I think you're dealing with somebody very difficult. This is not normal. How should they handle this with this other person being difficult to them? Yeah, they don't want to hear it. You're abundant, and they want it, but they're not abundant for you. They're not helping you. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land. There is enough abundance for everyone. So if someone's not telling you something you need to know, um, <clears throat> you're going to be very abundant. It's you know, You're manifesting miracles and abundance. And you're passionate about it. But you've got some objective energy in your space. What? i got to find out what this person wants. What the fuck? Sorry. 
I have to find out what this person wants with your money in abundance. What do they really want? Because if they're just coming in to take from you, I don't think so. Especially when you're warm and you're hot and you're on a roll. I don't think so. You're like, I'm abundant and I'm passionate. But tell me what this person's intentions are. I'm really upset about this. Two of Pentacles. Get some of your money. Some of your juju. Some of your good stuff. Give you some bad energy and take your stuff. They want your energy. Queen of Wands. They want your passion. They want to entertain you and tell you they have something wonderful for you and try to produce a, a manifest, manifest you. But this person is troubled. Tell me more. Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands. Self-protection and guide, guarding from them. Five of Cups. Heartbreak. This is a past person. And I'm going to tell you something. At this point, you're flowing in abundance. And I'm going to put them on hold for you. I'm a Reiki master, by the way, not just a reader. All right. That's really, really what I see happening. Let me have some influences for this reading here. For my beautiful aqua, uh, Pisces. Pisces, what's going on in your love life? Pisces, someone rising Venus. Something's causing you to have a problem with a fire sign energy. I've seen you dealing with a lot of air sign energy. And now you're dealing with fire sign energy. You've got the uh, King of Wands. You've got the, the Empress in reverse. You have... Um, oh, I'm not liking that person. Knight of Wands. No, 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 no. I don't like this game they're playing in your life. You're going to do something about it. Tell me what else is influencing my Pisces in the month of June. Please in love. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on in Pisces' wonderful world in love? Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure what you're going to do with this, Pisces. All tied up. Hmm. You want to know what I get from this? Your abundance is tied up with something. Your passion. Your project. Your home. Something's coming in. And you've already got it spoken for. Now this could also be you feeling tied to a home you don't want to be in anymore. A place you don't want to be. A relationship you don't want to be in. And you're trying to change it and shift it. And you feel like everything's tied up. I have to loosen up the strings and I've got to move forward. That's what I hear with that. Then we have second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Now you know as well as I do, that is the sacral region. That is the Empress's space where she grows life in her body. Where she And this is the number of abundance. So you might, some of you might be getting tied up. Oops, I got a sexual reference. Sexual healing. Interesting. All tied up into a scenario you're trying to get out of because you're going towards abundance. It's you're, you're building, you're creating, and abundance is coming to you because you're creating it. You deserve this beautiful blessing. Okay? Pisces, the door to romance is opening now. And it's a master number. The cage is open, and you are ready for something new to happen in your beautiful love life. And then we have the sun to come in and show you you're upset. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. Your abundance is going to come in the form of love and healing. Hallelujah. I speak it into your life. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. Romance angels, talk to me about Pisces. Love life in the month of June. What's happening? What is your suggestion, Romance Angels, for my Pisces? Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you to make some kind of changes. Mm hmm. Hmm. You have new love coming in every month. You have the possibility of new love coming. Pay attention to red flags. What are these red flags? Playfulness. Okay. 
playfulness is recapturing romance for yourself. So you've got to put on a really, you really seriously have to play, honeys. You guys are playing. You're playing with the divine. But now the divine's going to teach you how to play with another soul and bring about abundance and happiness for yourself. That's exactly what I wish for, too, is that playfulness in a relationship that makes you happy <laughs> and romantic playfulness. Like, yeah, we got to travel and go do this thing. All right. More Pisces, past life relationship coming for you. Or you're dealing with one. It's already established. It's contractual in the spirit world. Tell me more, please. Wedding. <laughs> so you're either dealing with a wedding or you're planning one. Or you have one coming up. And I cannot say that that's a bad thing. You're dealing with a wedding. Let's take a look at your energy, darling. Sweet, sweets. Hi, see some rising Venus, my lovers. How you doing, sweeties? Hope you're having a good Memorial Day weekend. It's when I'm reading it for you. I'm right at the moment. I'm not doing these fast forward readings right now. Can't keep up. You, here's how you show up in love right now. Total clarity. Cutting something off. Communicating your needs. And making a brand new effing start. If they can't talk to me, and they can't tell me their intentions, I will not go forward with them. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Spiritual knowing. Revelation. Insight. Communication. Truth. Honesty. There you are. You showed up for yourself. You are a master alchemist. You know how to change from the inside out. You know how to stay in abundance energy. You do know this. You do know this. You're extremely attractive right now. You have manifestation skills off the charts. Yes. And you're altering your destiny. Your destiny is changing right now. You're going through a shift. Yes, you have. You're attracting new love to yourself. See? You're attracting new love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're manifesting right now. If you want love right now in the month of June, it's a month to find it and meet someone. Indeed, that's what I see. Tell me about the energy that they're dealing with in love. Love forces, love energy. Who's coming towards my Pisces? Who is Pisces dealing with in the month of June? In love. Who is Pisces dealing with in love? Who's, who is Pisces dealing with in June? Who are they dealing with in love? Temperance, Sagittarius. This person's got a good head on their shoulders, and they also will be, are drawn like crazy to you. Ooh, that's nice. Tell me more, please, about this person interested in Pisces. However, they have insecurities up the wanger. You need to have a conversation with them. This person might have people in their background, too. Um, they might feel like there's battling energies and emotions and conflict somewhere. Why would they feel that way? Why does this person feel that way? Because they've been, um, they've had their guard up against someone else for a long time. They're tired of protecting their energy from combative shit that has nothing to do with them. This is a temperate person, and they need to come out of the cold. When they find you, they get so hot, they're so warm, that they feel like you, you make them completely feel whole. You're bringing them nourishment of their soul. Yes. Equality, balance. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me more. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Making sure that everything is fair. Their intentions. Take down burdens. Drop the burdens and not battle anymore. I found the one. Move towards you and make something happen. Tell me more about this person. King of Swords. They're going to have conversations with you. Again, we're back at the one that's going to propose to you. This is proposal. This is someone wanting to propose to you. This relationship makes me feel balanced, equal, stable. I feel like I can talk with you. I feel like we could possibly last forever. And let's share our abundance. I'll share your abundance with you. Their motive is to build and to have a future with you. Tell me, that's Taurus Virgo Capricorn. <clears throat> yeah, fast movement, communication. They're going to recognize you. In the spirit world. This is a past life relationship. So tell me the energy between you two. King 
king of cups cancer scorpio pisces heavily emotional both of you have experienced incredible pain both of you have walked away from something horrific and both of you know what it feels like to be lied to and so now you're bringing in love and communication a logical relationship pisces that a logical relationship that will give you grounding and balance and temperance and you'll be able to move and this is fast movement you could be talking to someone dating online but this is someone who understands your pain they understand your pain what's the lesson here in this relationship coming up playfulness healing forgiveness movement abundance going the distance now if you're 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 ready to go the distance with somebody and make it a long-term relationship oh my gosh yes oh my gosh yes i'll come here i see someone rising venus don't let pride get in your way just because you have skills and you're beautiful and someone falls for you prosperity lies ahead abundance 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 Conclusions are within reach. What have you been needing? And don't let the past hold you back, Pisces. Not for anything. If you need to make a change, you need to make a change. You just have to trust. And if you need to make a drastic change and you're not sure, please contact me. I will do a reading for you. And as far as my Cindy goes, Cindy, my Cindy Camacho, you know I love you, honey. Um, I haven't gotten around to your reading. I've been super busy. Forgive me. But this should help you some. Contact me um, and I'll do a reading for you. I, I swear it. She's a Patreon member, so she automatically qualified. Right? That's what happens. You get first dibs on me. I'll get to your reading. I love you guys. Thank you so much. God bless you. Namaste. Stay strong. You got something fantastic coming Stay strong. Man, it's beautiful. Namaste, my fantastic Pisces. Be sure before you leave, you hit the like button for my video. You subscribe and hit the all bell if you like it. If you find my reading anywhere near encouraging or relating, leave me comments as well. I want to serve you. Thank you for the love. Namaste. Bye.